Some of those showers around Cadillac and the Marquette area as you get into the UP. We have also a couple of clouds right now passing through portions of the thumb. You even have some of those clouds right now into Saginaw County into Genesee County. Now, when it comes to the showers moving through our area, we'll have a couple of showers popping up as we get into the afternoon hours. It might even hear a rumble of thunder, but the stronger storms will likely stay to our east as they develop. They'll be moving through places like Cleveland, Erie, Pennsylvania, and Buffalo. That's where they could get potential of an isolated storm becoming severe. Around here, just some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Clouds to radar, 9 o'clock this morning, partly cloudy out there. We have the sunshine this morning with partly cloudy conditions. Clouds start building as we get into the late morning and early afternoon hours. That's because we have the clouds and a couple of showers moving through the area out ahead of a cold front that's sweeping through our region. And that's going to make those temperatures tumble just a little bit for tomorrow. And I talked about some of those showers and thunderstorms firing up as they get to our east. You see it right there over Lake Erie around 5 p.m. So getting into the nighttime hours is partly cloudy tonight. Otherwise, we have a day that is pretty pleasant out there. Warm with sunshine and clouds. We're getting up to about 73 degrees in Detroit around noon. We're at 68. 4 p.m. We're at 72 winds out of the south, 7 to 14 miles per hour. So getting into tomorrow, slightly cooler behind that cold front, 65 degrees for the high overnight lows in the 40s. But the rain returns with another system on Thursday, and it is going to be windy out there. The high in the lower 60s, even cooler for Friday, right around 50 degrees for that high rain showers. And then we dry out for our Saturday rain showers possible again on Sunday. Both days temperatures in the 60s.